Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. As always, appreciate you being here. And today I have a tale of a toy that took me many, many years to put together with the box. And in fact, it took me two toys to do it. So strap yourselves in, get comfortable, grab your coffee if it's morning, take a sip of that steaming warm goodness, grab a little snack, focus, get ready, because we're going to talk about the very rare Daya Lightning Jeep. And although I say rare, and it is a pretty rare toy, for whatever reason, I see this toy loose and broken quite often. And in fact, I rarely see it with the original green dome. So in a trade that I made many moons ago, I acquired a rusty version of this toy, not this one here. So let me back this one up here, and I'm going to show you the toy that was traded. Now, it doesn't look that bad on camera, so I'll kind of get into the specifics here. So, the Lightning Jeep, first of all, a lot of people didn't even realize this was a legit space toy, I think for a long time, just because this box is so hard to find that, um, you know, you assume that this guy could have been an astronaut, and it has that same shading that the famous Robot 5 has, and there's other toys that have this this gray shading with the rivets over there, but so this toy was traded to me. You can see here the rust, the chips on the paint, and the, so let me, let me back up. The bottom of the toy was great, the friction drive was great, and it had both axles. So I had this toy, this body, but with a better bottom and a bumper, and mine was missing the bumper, but I had a good body, no dome, a screwed up front axle, and a broken, worn out gear drive. And it's a brass gear. I could link, maybe you'll see in advance, a repair that the Robot Hut did for me, John. And I may link to it, I may not, I don't know. If I have to find it, I'd have to film it first. And uh, I said, John, just please put together one good one with these two toys. So. Essentially, um, this was the traded toy with the box, and I had a good body, crappy friction drive, and front axle. You can see here, this is the wrong axle. I don't know what they did, and, and it was also missing the bumper. So, now let's move this out of the way. This body was traded, and this was my original bottom. So, now we put together a very nice, complete version. So this is my body here, and you can see here, it doesn't have the rust. Nice tin, nice astronaut. And we removed the entire bottom in friction. I shouldn't say we, John at the Robot Hut, took the entire bottom off. This is a working friction drive and the correct axle. And it had the bumper that was missing. Now, the way they folded it on mine, I thought it was two different bumpers, but John said, no, they just kind of folded this black bumper to make it seem like it was a bumper. So by having the two toys, we were able to put together one complete good one. Now this dome is missing an awful lot. It's very tough to find this dome. And I've seen this with a bunch of crappy reproduction domes and uh, they look terrible. This one does have a little crack here, but you know what? Like I said, to get this original dome is very tough. Now, another thing I noticed the difference too, this one has black painted guns and this one has the gray painted guns, which is kind of weird. That was on my toy. And then I don't think there's any other differences. I'll look real quick. So I have this junker. I had told John keep it, but he already had packed it up at that point. So now the toy itself, if you look here, when you run the friction drive, it, it moves that gun turret. Let me just flip it around here and can get the light back. It's a better angle like this. See what I'm talking about there. So finally, I was happy to have a complete lightning jeep because like i said the toy pops up 
typically missing the bumper, the dome, and it's just not in that great of shape. So now I have a really nice body. And uh, the main thing though is this box, because this box, it is hard, hard, hard to find. If you look through auctions going back 10, 15, 20 years, you might only see like two examples of this box, if even. I mean, it was so elusive for me personally that I wasn't even sure it was a legit space toy. But obviously, when you see the Jeep running around, he's in proper astronaut attire, lunar landscape, the planet in the background. So it was, uh, it was a nice, you know, um, a nice uh, culmination of finally getting the toy boxed complete. So here's the side panel, nothing spectacular on the side. And um, I, I can't explain why, again, I always have a hard time trying to understand why certain toys are so rare, or a box, for instance. Like I said, the toy will come up, and by the way, I'm using a roll of painter's tape to prop this box up a little higher. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Why is some toys, uh, you know, elusive like this, or the box especially, you know, when you can, you know, find examples of the toy, you can't find examples of the box. Like, why is that? And by the way, under this dome, you can see it has another astronaut in there. So there's the crack I was talking about. And, you know, normally I would even be like, oh man, I gotta get another dome, but I'm telling you, good luck trying to find this dome at all. So. Uh, that's the story of the Lightning Jeep by Dai that was now, um, that's now a complete boxed toy. Now, as for this, I'm not sure, should I do a giveaway? Maybe somebody would like the parts. I mean, there's a couple of options I was thinking about. I had said, you know, mentioned to John, maybe keep it and we could do something, but I'm not crazy about the rusty body. Uh, maybe I'll give it away. I'll do another giveaway. Again, this friction drive, the, the brass, I think it was the pinion gear is totally worn down. So there's a couple of options. I think you could find a, a comparable Jeep because I'm sure this Jeep style was used in a lot of different toys. And then you just rip the bottom off. If the tabs line up, you could put a new bottom on there. And the side's not too bad. I wonder like why the, the hood got all scratched. Maybe it had some acid rain. Um, and you know, I've seen some toy people take a plastic clear dome and put something on here just to have a dome or <clears throat> excuse me the other option would be i guess you could take this astronaut off because he's pretty cool well where is it look i'm not even you can take this astronaut off here and maybe use him on another toy you can take that and this so you know in other words make a custom thingamajig so i'm not sure yet you know i have not decided so in the meantime, um, you got to look at this cool Dia Lightning Jeep in his original box. So let me know what you think. Um, also, let me know what you think of uh, the the uh, the crappy toy. You think it's worth trying to salvage, just junk it out for parts, do something custom? I'd be curious what your thoughts are on that. Anyway, my friends, that's it. I appreciate your time. Thanks as always, and uh, if you like this kind of stuff, I always say thumb up the video, and if you're a lurker, please subscribe with that. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you later.